Let's quickly go over the ways that you express the logical operators on the Power of Logic website. So I'm going to go into chapter 7 here where we are first dealing with symbolizing and pull up a problem for us here. This says the crops will fail unless it rains. Now I'm not so much concerned here with translating this particular statement. Um, if you are working on this section, then make sure to double check the areas of the book that talks about stylistic variation. In other words, the various ways that a logical expression can be uh, stated in, in the English language. So, for instance, this is a disjunction, and there are several, several ways the English language can express a disjunction. And one way is to use the word unless here instead of or. But I'll leave that for you to do uh, when you're working on this section. But for now, I just want to show you the ways to, in, to uh, create the logical operators. The first one is the tilde, the negation symbol, which is at the top left hand of pretty much every keyboard. So nothing special there. Second one is the uh, disjunction, or the V. So as you might expect, you just type in a lowercase v, and that is how you produce that operator in the Power of Logic website. The conjunction or the AND uh, operation, operation will be expressed with a period. The arrow will be a dash right next to the zero up at the top of the keyboard and the greater than sign. You can see the Power of Logic website makes that into an arrow for you. Uh, I believe you can just hit the greater than sign without the dash, yeah, sure enough. And then finally, the by conditional is first the less than sign, oh, and then it does it automatically for you. Uh, also, if you want to do the conclusion symbol, which sometimes you'll need to, that is the uh, colon and then period. And then again, it turns it into the correct symbol for you. So I hope that helps you as you're typing in your statements into symbolic form and uh, putting the arguments together.